Okay, it's time for a reaction video since two people requested it. So let's go. But I don't know what to react to, so I'm gonna let the wheel decide. There it goes. Spinning. And. Well, this is who I'm gonna react to today. Alright, let's get started. Okay, it's time to get started on the first video. Now I'm gonna be reacting, reacting to with you guys. We're gonna react to five videos of Pupina Stewart because that's what the wheel said. So let's go. Take a big bite of that sandwich. A little heavy on the oregano, and a little bit difficult to get the perfect bite. Okay. Hey everyone, it's me, Pupina Stewart. And through years of dedication over the show, the The Office. The Office, all right. I have realized something. It's not. It's not real. It's fake. The Office show isn't. The Office show isn't real. Whoa. Who would have thought that coming? The Office show. It's. It's not like it was a. It was just a. Some sort of live action comedy sketch. No. Because no one would think that. Because if someone did, they'd be an idiot. So I was watching this movie. And guess who showed up? Either Michael has a two jobs. One acting and one at the paper supply. Dunder Mifflin. <gasps> or Whoa. that show is fake reality. You know, I knew. Yo, know, it is surprising to see that the office show having fake reality, you know, because it looks so real. Man, Pupina, she's one smart girl. That Jersey Shore was a little bit fake, but the office is 100% fake. It the is guy a fake show, everybody. Is Steve Carroll. And my love for White, I loved White, but now my heart is broken to know that his real name is Rain Wilson. <laughs> so thanks a lot, The Office. Thanks for snapping my heart in two. That was... This is like some girl who, uh... Who got her childhood ruined, I, I guess. Because... She... It's like... It's like saying how, um... Um, the tooth fairy isn't real. To to like a, I guess a a six year old kid. I don't know, but yeah, that she 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 sounds like her childhood is ruined. We're gonna move on to the next video we're gonna watch is we're running out of gravity. We are running out of gravity. Okay. This is a video from from Michael from Vsauce. Have you have you heard of gravity? Michael from Visa. Oh my God, she's she's gonna send a video to Visa. Damn. If you haven't, then you're taking advantage of it. We. Okay. So if you've never heard of gravity, then you're taking advantage of it. Okay, I understand logic. All right. Are running out of gravity. I noticed this when I started running. And then soon after, I start losing my breath. I start running faster and faster for the first time in years, hoping that the, the, that the breath would get in my breath. And then I realized we're running out of gravity. <sighs> yes. She, we're running out of gravity, guys. We're running out of gravity. All that running, you, you know, all that running, we're running out of gravity. It, no pun intended. This is something that we need to stop. Gravity, we're all taking advantage of it. We need to quit gravity. We're taking advantage of gravity, guys. We need to just quit it. We must because stop. when we do, once we actually do run out of gravity, we won't really notice. 
Thank you guys for watching. All right, guys. So we're running out of gravity. We, we must stop this. I don't know how, but apparently she does. She's a smart one. 300 IQ. Yeah. The next one is her saying, making a video of how she will wreck. I will wreck you, John Cena. Okay. She will wreck John Cena. I can believe that. I can definitely believe that. I'm sick of everyone going up to me in my face and yelling, John Cena! I yeah, I hate it too. I hate it. You're just minding your own business, and then some asshole comes up to you, and then she's like, John Cena! I, I don't... Why? Don't... I, I don't I didn't know who John Cena was, but I, I searched him up and apparently he's some kind of wrestler dude. Oh you think you're tough. Hmm. I'll have you know that I graduated top of my class in the Navy SEALs and I was involved in numerous raids on Al Qaeda. So you think you're tough for just being some guy showing off his muscles and flexing everywhere and pounding some guys into the ground? Honey, learn what real fear is. Hmm. Hmm. She's one strong woman. I mean, come on. You do not want to mess with her. You see that? You see? You see, you see that hair flip? Or whatever that was. I will take you on. I can wrestle you and knock you down in a matter of seconds. So I challenge you to a wrestling match. I doubt those. I doubt those muscles are even real. I bet I could just pop them with a needle. You know what? I'm going to bring a needle on stage, too, and just pop all your fake muscles. They're probably, it's just probably like that suit on Spongebob that he blows up every time. I think I, um, yeah, so I think I know what Bupina thinks John Cena's muscles are, and, like, she thinks those are John Cena's muscles. A big blow-up suit. Of muscles like in SpongeBob. Hmm. Yeah. I can see that. That guy looks like John Cena too. Yeah. He wears it to make him seem tougher. Honey, I will fight you. So don't even think that I won't. Don't even think I'll wimp out because this is gonna be some easy stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, she reminds me of this one girl who would think that she's like, and I kind of know her. She's she would think like she's so strong, and that she's um intimidating, and like thinks she's all powerful and stuff, but in reality she's a one eighty. Well, I'll just say, yeah. Let's just say that she's a she's a one eighty. Yeah. Not really that. She's like all bark and no bite. Basically what I'm saying. Okay, I... That title just made me want to watch this. I, it's Donald and I are getting married. I'm assuming... I'm, I'm assuming Donald is Donald Trump. Hey guys, so a lot of you guys know how Donald and I are going steady in our relationship. But... Oh my god. Donald and I are gonna stay in a relationship? Wait, how old is she? Is it... She's like... 20? In this... video? Yeah, I assume so. Um... Recently, we've just been going... Ooh, straight up to the top. Um... So... Donald posted on his Instagram saying... I love Hispanics and Hispanics love me. Did, did he did he really tweet that or say that <clears throat> did he really say that oh my god that's interesting I'm gonna have to check later I'm Hispanic and I know this because I was born out of the womb already speaking in a Spanish accent I knew things like hola and stuff like that so Donald, um, basically loves a quarter of me. 
actually he does love a quarter of me, obviously. Um, and soon when he still starts loving all the races, he's going to love 100% of me. Um, so Donald, I just want to say, I love you too. Um, and someday I hope you can love all of me. Um, also, what was I going to say? I was going to say, like, um, I totally forget what I was going to say. Don her on a relationship. I wonder how that would go. I don't think it would go that well. I mean, that age gap. Yeah, that might, that might cause some <clears throat> attention on the internet. So. What? Why would she? Never mind. But yeah. Um, I love you so much, Donald. And, um, I hope we have a successful relationship when you divorce Melania. Bye. Wow. Okay. Well, on to the final video then. Alright, so the last video that we're going to be reacting to is what it's like being a meme. But I might add one more because... This felt way too short. Hey everyone, it's me Pepina. Say hi. Stop sniffing my breath. Stop. Okay, she has a dog in this video. And it's sniffing her breath. Apparently. Wow. Say hi. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's me Pupina, and a lot of people are asking me what it's like to- Stop, please! I'm- I'm begging you to stop. Man, you better stop, doggy, or else the Pupina might do something not very cool. She can wreck John Cena, so... I mean, she might not hurt animals, so... Or her own dog, so... It might be safe. So a lot of people are asking me what it's like to be a meme, and I would just like to say I hate memes personally, but to know that I'm making a difference in this world, in the meme community, it's just... <clears throat> so she hates being a meme. Wait, she pronounced it as a meme. Okay. Cool. I thought she was going to say meme but all right. It's really good. Um, I'm being posted a lot. Every time I scroll through the Explore page, I see my face on Instagram. And those are some rock and meme pages that are posting about me, honestly. I feel like I'm making a huge change in this world. And I'm trying to get my dog to be famous with me. He's kind of like Robin, and obviously I'm Batman. Or Batwoman, I should say. <laughs> Do you guys like his sweater? Uh -huh. All right, well, <clears throat> I think this video is where she actually becomes serious for, well, in that part, not the part where she's like, stop, doggy, but yeah, also, cute sweater for the dog. Little Christmas trees on it. Please stop. I'm begging you. Anyway, so a lot of people are saying, um... Stop, please. I. A lot of people are saying that our third life content kind of sucks right now. And it's kind of getting me a little bit emotional. I don't really know what to say. So I guess what I could say is, Subscribe to my main channel for great- Whoa. Okay. So. There's more content on her channel. Which is called Pupina Stewart. I've seen her videos that's- really not different it's basically her act it's basically her being <clears throat> a smart girl a very smart girl and a um an opinion that just sounds like um a bunch of facts content bye yeah that's about it but i'm gonna watch one video on her channel just because this felt very short and also because my channel looks like it's dead, so 
Yeah. Okay, so this one is titled, England is Mean to Me. And I'm going to take a guess of why. I, she might, they might be mean to her. So, so she made this video. It was called, like, Learn How to Speak American. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, like, at least 90% of the, I don't know, the people on YouTube know this i'm probably lying to myself anyways yeah this it, it got viral learning to speak american when it's actually english but i guess in the uh, i don't in the like american way I, I i i'm confused like what what does um what the hell does american mean like the <clears throat> like speaking American, I don't get it. And it's like England. It's it's like it's very different speaking in England. And then she made this other video, which I guess she doesn't know what that there was other currency besides dollars outside of the U.S. like pounds, um, yen, uh, pesos, and then this guy. And like she wanted to get a new Sims game, and this guy said that was like fifteen pounds, which pounds is also another word for weight. I mean, no, no, not not another word. For weight. It's like it's the measurement of the weight. And then, and she was like, "Why is it so heavy?" It was fifteen pounds. I mean, fifteen pounds for a game is it is kind of heavy. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my guess. Let's see why. England is so mean to her. Hi, so why are British people so mean to me? I made a video and saying England is confusing and they just keep getting mixed signals. I mean, I understand you guys can't understand me very well. I'm trying to... Mm. Yeah. Yeah, she said something about speaking American and it's like... You need to learn how to speak Americanish. Yeah, that's. I, I, yeah, I think I'm right. Speak slowly for you, but you still keep hearing me wrong. You're really mean to me, and you're just saying really rude stuff to me and about me, calling me a stupid American. And you're calling it all Americans stupid, but we're the ones that created you. <clears throat> Whoa. Well, okay. Calling one American stupid. That is mean, but okay. Not... And then... I don't... It's not, like, terrible, but it is rude. Calling every American stupid. I mean... That's just... That's just not okay. That, that's harsh. It's just... That, it, it's, don't, don't do that. That's stupid. We created the British race. So you need to stop and go back to your place, okay? You can cross the border all you want. I'm welcoming you in, but just don't cross my border, okay? All right, see ya. Yeah, it's just a short message to, I guess, England people about how they're so rude to this American because they can't speak American-ish. Yeah. That was basically the video. That was, um... That, I don't think that was the best choice to pick, but that'll do for now. Will I react to it next time? Yeah, probably. But that's all for today, folks. Leave any other ideas because my channel's dying and... I want to reach 500 subscribers, and, um, I have no outro.